3DV Composer V6R 2012 contains a number of new rendering features and visual effects that allow you to create visual assets that can be used in assembly instructions, product manuals, maintenance and repair guides, and marketing collateral. The first is the depth of field focal point that allows you to manually specify a focal point on any part you want viewers to focus on. Here I'm going to enable the depth of field option, set the focal point, and pick a point on the part I want to retain focus on, in this case the end plate of the filter subassembly. Then I'm going to move all three parts of that subassembly away from the main assembly and you can see that no matter where I move it, it stays in focus while the rest of the assembly is blurred. The next enhancement is the ability to display shadows in all lighting modes. To view shadows, I navigate to the render tab and click on the shadows button. You can clearly see how this effect can be used to display your products as they would appear in a variety of real world lighting conditions and you can now configure the intensity and radius of the ambient occlusion effect to add more realistic lighting to your product visuals. Just turn on ambient occlusion in the render tab and adjust the intensity and radius in the properties panel. A glow lighting effect can be added to highlight specific assemblies or give your products a more vibrant appearance. Since the glow effect works best with dark backgrounds, I'm going to go into the properties panel and set the background to black. Then simply enable the glow effect on the render tab and precisely adjust the intensity in the properties panel. Another great thing about 3D Via Composer V6R 2012 is that all new and existing rendering enhancements and effects are retained in the digger zone. So the detailed views you create with the digger have the same appearance as your overall assembly. Of course, once you generate renderings in 3D via Composer, you should save them off as views, which can be automatically updated anytime there are changes to the SOLIDWORKS geometry. Once you have your views saved, you can go into the High Resolution Workshop to save off imagery in a variety of formats for publishing and technical communication deliverables. In this case, I've already saved a number of high-res images and some technical illustrations to create the beginnings of a marketing brochure for the supercharger using Microsoft Word. Now we'll take a look at some of the other V6R 2012 features and enhancements that allow you to quickly publish interactive 3D content. Built-in navigation controls and new button graphics make it easy for you to include familiar playback controls in your animations, making them truly interactive and simple enough for anyone to use. To add the controls, navigate to the Author tab, click on the Image 2D drop-down menu, select the appropriate control, click in your scene to place the control, drag it to size, and click again to complete the creation. There are buttons for next, previous, first, and last that can be used to either navigate through views or animations. And when you need to publish your content, the new web templates in 3D Via Composer V6R 2012 include sections for document properties, bill of materials, product and manufacturing information, and more. So you can create and publish high quality interactive web experiences at the touch of a button. To publish to any of these templates, go to File, Publish, Publish to HTML, and click on the HTML Output option. Choose your profile, click save, then open the HTML file to view your content where you can see interactive content, interactive bill of materials, and much more. And that's just some of the key new features in 3D Via Composer V6R 2012.